Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back to our Mega City series. And already we do see our sexy Harbor Cannon Towers in action as Sean Le Fatoon tried to chase um, one of my clippers that is out of the world map now. Very good. And yeah, of course he's too late with this big bulky ship. He has got no chance of actually escaping anymore. Problem is. I don't have any ships in the area right now to collect that loot here. There might be something really interesting, however, we are a bit too late for that. Now, while we're here in Martinez, uh, let's quickly have a look around at my productions, because we want to check if we are capping out on anything or not. And I think right now we are golden. We have uh, the new world trade right now here with the rum and the cotton. The ship just left um, and it should be fine. Um, as we as we continue there. Oh, there's Miss Hunt also coming in now with a, a royal galleon, but that is more a traitor. Just protected, right, with with some cannons. And here we do have Loxer that we really, really do need to, to improve as well. We do have bricks. I don't have that many weapons anymore. Um, I could build one more weapon tower, but of course they're very expensive. Let's go back to the to Crown Falls, because in Crown Falls it's looking rather nasty at the moment. Uh, we do have some rides. We do have some plague right here in the kind of like town center and i think yes there we can mobilize our doctors so we got three of them now on the streets it's actually four very good because there's another one here tending the sick and hopefully we should get rid of any of these problems now we can continue with the expansion of crown falls we still have lots of farmers once again that i would like to go ahead and we can just go crazy on them once more we have lots of timber and lots of bricks at the moment also more towards the fields down here in the harbor area and also here in this harbor area i was still thinking very hard in uh, what direction we should move our industry zone at some point and i think i've decided in this area we should have the industry zone why is that well basically because here we also have then our docklands and here we also have then our direct connection with the oil fields and a bit of space well this one here is just too central at all right so i don't like this as my industry zone we're going to make it over there then for sure being about industry, we should continue. Let's have two more pig farms and two more slaughterhouses plus the warehouse. Gone are the days when I need to think too hard about those basic building materials, right? So we always have something in store there. The police station, the fire station is also working very diligently at that. And with that, we have a surplus of one again. Uh, work clothes is fine, schnapps is fine, fish is fine, bread and soap is okay but only okay So let's go ahead and have some two more pig farms here. Um, one, uh, two rendering works and one soap factory for the the soap production and i think for my bread we are yeah we still have also some space here so another two grain farms with one windmill and two bakeries and let's also have a warehouse close by and i could think about having something in here like probably something we don't have in this area yet the fire station Now onwards, we also quickly want to continue with uh, Lost Mill. And since this is going to be a, a, a very important island to me, we're going to call it uh, Shodix. <laughs> so hello Shodix, one of my supporters and the moderator of our Discord channel. Thank you for all the hard work. And in Shodix, as I said, we will boost or we will build up a huge industry zone over there. We also have some oil fields that we can use to boost it. So I do need to build up um, a bigger a bigger city just that, right? And let's go ahead and have another block of houses then on, on that side here. Plus, we can then also go ahead with yet another uh, marketplace somewhere here. And then also another pub that we need because those people, of course, do like a good drink. We have lots of timber. So I would just probably go ahead and build the whole area. And then, of course, also some two more fishers, fisheries for now that we can also have in this area. That's just looking good. By the way, do we have we have four working here right now? So timber should be flowing in. That is good. We have lots of iron deposits there, so Should've three. Unfortunately, no coal. So coal will be one of the things that we do need to, to import from probably Catastra over there, which has three coal deposits. And another royal warship is coming out, the Greedy Gannet. Um, and I think we do have another one in the queue right now. There it is. Coming out, and for another one, I do need a few more weapons, right? But yeah, my fleet is uh, growing. We have now three royal warships here in Crown Falls. One of them I'm going to misuse as uh, some transportation that we're going to get all the way here to Ketester. And Bente and Sean Lafayette have a ceasefire. That's okay. 
N. Yeah, that was not good. Likely it was, and it still didn't work. Yeah, Miss Hunt, of course, that's not going to go out well anymore. But with Hugo and Bente, we can go with. And Miss Hunt, she's got no alliances yet, though she is. Oh, she is on alliance with Bente, of course, yes. So this might lead to problems further down the road. And Hugo, he is at peace with all of them, but not on very good terms. Not on the best terms, right? No trade rights except for us. Oh, also, Hunt and Anharlo are at war. This is interesting in the old world, where we should see some battles because of that. As the pirate is now at war with um, Miss Hunt. No idea how long this could go. They probably would like to go for ceasefire as soon as possible. But right now, they're just going to have some fun. Now, another important thing is we do have now the fur in and we do also have the cotton in. That means my next production can be started, which would be the fur coat dealers. And let's go ahead and actually, as I said, get rid of these here for now, because I would like to have then my industry zone starting up here. No idea how big it's going to be. I think pretty big, but we could start here with the first ones. Just make sure that we do have the, the uh, room for the train here then as well. I'm going ahead with a warehouse, probably somewhere here then. Right, and then the cool thing is we can move, of course, these buildings again. So I can just start with it now and then we just move them ahead. And let's go ahead with four of them for now. Be, that should be fine. We do need, for starters, some two. And they produce 32 uh, per minute already. So two of them will be totally fine for my first uh, basic production. Let's go ahead with this. Quite expensive, but it's worth it. And with that, we already have now the second good available then, right? So the four codes, let's stop this for now. And actually, let's enable the sewing machines. Because now we have sewing machines in. And as we can see, it's filling up. This should be very good for our balance then as well. Um, beer is not in right now. And the variety theater is another building that we can actually go ahead with already. So I would like to do this. And of course, we're going to do this as centrally as possible. And once again, we are going to... We're going to move some things around here these houses there there you go making room for this nice little area here where we can now squeeze in a beautiful variety theater just at the main road right we're probably going to make it like this at the corner here like so that is fine we could actually have houses here in the background but that would be very dense so let's not do this also we have this entrance there let's not do this there you go and let's build it in all its glory, very expensive, 10,000 there once again, but my artisans will be thrilled with this, right? And the range of a variety theater is rather big, so it takes all the artisans plus all the additional artisans that we're going to upgrade here in the near future. Let's also very prominently have then a clock tower here in, in this area then. And of course, we should also have some stature or something like that, or because this is a, a representative building some dramatic figures that we can have um, and then probably some enclosure but these are palm trees <laughs> they don't really fit in all right let's go ahead and build the whole mess uh, i don't have any other ornaments unlocked yet other than these um here so i cannot build the the hatches for now um as as long as i only have a few artisans so for now we have to go with the flower beds it's still looking fine and yeah my my artisans of course would not mind balance wise 4000 i think the beer is in again yep very good however we of course need to check out why the beer is constantly low i think we do have a problem with our hops plantations let's continue building some two more as this this is going to be vital and let's also start building up our third town now for for crown folds that we're going to need as well that is catester and catester is actually also really interesting because of the coal and iron deposits here plus oil where's the oil that would be over here um hmm would also be an interesting choice for any kind of industrial zone we are going to need uh, several of them anyway so one for the heavy industry uh and one for the lighter industry and stuff like that and as always we can then start with the city and for uh, being a bit quick we can also just copy the whole layout then to the other side if we want to um and for now i think i want to so let's do this just here that we have it then close to the the main harbor area more or less Now, there you go. Wouldn't be the worst of cities that we had so far. The only thing I still need, we have lots of these tiny uh, valleys here on this island, which I think is really cool. Um, let's just have the road going over there. And there is the other iron mine that we also need. And in this area, just I could then uh, start with my first timber production for this one. Let's go ahead with three. 
I mean, we could basically also go with four because it's a cheap production and it just hurts us more if we don't have it in store than just having it in full storage, right? There you go. And we can also go ahead and build all four of them. Plus also starting out with the first productions here. The first service buildings here and then also the first people moving into Catastro. I like the name, so we're going to keep this one. And in that case here, let's also have some basic fisheries here. So those people have something to eat, even though it's just fish. There you go. Our third town in Cape Trelawney. Getting a bit busy here then soon. I will, in order to prepare for all of this, we will need to go ahead and also have our... Oh, I can also build the Royal Warship. Let's do this. This has priority. And we get the Admiral bonus out of that because we have a bigger Navy now coming up. Um, and next, after that, I would like to start with the Royal Clipper again, right? One Royal Clipper here and one here. So two more Royal Clippers coming up for our uh, trade bonus. fleet that we have them. All right, something is definitely wrong here with my timber production, though. We should have more, right? This one here, there was a warehouse missing. This one is also still I working. Yep, at 90% efficiency. No big deal. Dusky Hawk is coming out. So in the, in the moment, we are really focusing a bit on the Navy here, right? While laying the foundation for the other um, cities. It's a bit slow there, perhaps. But it is absolutely necessary that we do this. And in Shodix, let's go ahead and have the next buildings upgraded. We have 1,200 farmers available, so we can really, really upgrade more. We do need those workers for this. And as I said, all these um, cities have different types, right? Different living types. So Shodix, perhaps, um, is going to be a bit more rustic looking. Yeah, this is fine. Let's go ahead and add an, another special flavor then to this whole island this there. Is turning into a revolution. Those. I, could even, I couldn't even say to what type of city these belong An child oh and also of course those people you. are unhappy right away go ahead and i think here in this area there were still some farmers go ahead and have also a police station centrally and i think we don't have any fire stations here at the moment have two more fire stations then as well to secure the city another thing for our beer let's go ahead and have some two more grain farms one more malt house and two more breweries then for this area so that the next production is ramped up and then well the fur coats should be in right we should have the first ones 34 tons are in let's unlock the fur coats for the artisans and now we only need canned food on our way to the engineers which is going to be another nice milestone then let's also have those roads here just being finished so that we have a nice uh, view over those things and then also here as we continue with the, the main roads then through the city. Another thing, I uh, would like to boost my building materials once more. We have coal and iron here, just perfect, in the mountainous area of Crown Falls. Right? That means that I will be able to get ahead with one more iron mine and one more uh, coal mine. Not this one, though. Uh, there we have it mine and just have the road then around it connected here and then we can have two more furnaces with that let's have them in the, in the furnace area for now even though i might move that industry at some point let's also upgrade that warehouse and just add us another one over here two more furnaces and this at least means that we can have one more steelworks if not even two let's squeeze it in here nicely like that directly in connection with that warehouse we will definitely also need to upgrade that as it's looking a bit full and the other steel we can then keep as a buffer for for example in a sewing machines factory actually let's build it right away because i'm pretty sure we're going to need it this brings us down to 2000 credits again so we are always close to the end <laughs> it seems and of course taking that these risks investing as much as possible allows us for faster growth um down the road or long term wise so i think this should be this should be our priority we can upgrade we are down to 800 farmers, 700 farmers, so we can still upgrade a few more. Especially here. And one more thing is we do need another school, right? We do have one school here. So I do need to have another school for, for this whole area there. Let's make room for another school that we can have here with its own little special entrance then as well. Going through that. Uh, we might actually, might make, actually make this one different, like so move this house and then have a nice nice road here with 
trees left and right and I would like to go ahead with my apple trees. Why not? Having some apple trees here in the, the town center. Just some green some greeneries because we really don't have a lot of that yet. It may, it's it's way, way too expensive to spam the whole city. But just these tiny areas we can definitely do this. And perhaps also have a nice little paved road to high school. With that, more upgrades are rolling in. I don't have that many steel beams left, but we can, yeah, definitely go ahead and upgrade those those houses here to artisans now too. That's fine. And another cutbar coming out. Fear, it's called. That is a fitting name for a, a trade ship. And Fear, you are going to be my trader for Catasta. In Catasta, we have enough timber, so it's rolling in to also continue here with my next buildings um and also we're going to use once again a special skin for these kind yeah let's go with the color one uh, the colorful one for catastro so this is going to be a colorful city eventually meanwhile in the new world we should not forget that a rump uh, consumption of course is increasing with more people so that means i do need to expand my my rum production now into uh, that area. There is a clay deposit that I would like to keep available, plus two gold, which is just too precious to abandon, right? So I'm going to head here, and we're probably going to have a, a warehouse up there. For now, um, that has then these sugarcane plantations to fill in the gaps. So that would be six more of them. Uh, let's go ahead with two. Which leads to another rum distillery that we can use. And probably, probably also, let's have those here. Right, so two more in that area plus another rum distillery. And I could and think about boss. boosting my lumberjack huts we'll just a tiny bit. Shoes. Look at that. We can boost it even up to 30% without losing any happiness. So I'm of course uh, doing this I to get the locks in that we do need. A pickup quest for Hugo Mercier. He is in the old world though, so there's lots of mishunt presence. I would need to be careful if I do this uh, to pick up uh, 21 canned food. You must be hmm, sail to his clipper. I mean, it's in his area. We could we could risk it totally and get us some repetition boost with Hugo. I would only lose a sc uh, schooner though. I'm not going to risk anything else, right? So we are going just over here with a schooner now to the old world. Attention to the now, two ships in the harbor area. Let's build another one. And let's also build... Ah, yeah, it's already in construction, the next royal frigate then. And there's also three of them now together, making it four with this ship of the Lion Lord, Algonon, that is also waiting here in front of my island. Your city has grown more beautiful. Also, let's double our windows production, another sand mine, two more glass makers, and then the, the window maker once it's done, of course. Now we need to juggle, really, uh, going back to Catastrophe, building more farmers. It's really important now that we keep developing uh, those cities here. Shodix uh, gets more workers then. And Shodix probably will also need something to make people a bit happier, because right now, happiness is not the best for Shodix. Uh, that means um, probably schnapps we should actually provide. Uh, it was not my intention originally, but seeing how it goes right now, it just would be the safest bet to do this. At least schnapps that we can provide. It's a nice uh, tax boost. So let's go ahead and have my schnapps production then somewhere in, in this area here. Um, right now, I think it will be around 6, 7, something like that. It's 7, actually. And for that, we do need to provide at least eight uh, schnapps distilleries, right? So actually quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and have the first two here, another two here, and then another two um, in this area. Just so that we get the production in. That would be already 12, 12 schnapps now, right? Actually, it's way too much anyway. And the ratio is one to one. So I can definitely squeeze in some potato fields in here as it's, it doesn't really need that much space. And it would actually fit just nicely close to the uh, sheep farms here, right? And there you go, a whole schnapps production up. Let's build the warehouse, let's build, yeah, four of them. And with that also four of the, uh, of these guys here. Well, let's make it five doesn't matter really and the ratio is one to one so that means we have now a production then of eight 
let's wait it out there a bit. So once again, I would like to just keep this one behind a bit. Oh, also the church would be, of course, another nice thing. And I think we could build it already. Somewhere in the city center would be the best if it weren't for the riots. But here in the center there is room for it and let's build a church for Shotics to make people even happier. And with that at least the workers are already pretty happy and that's even before the schnapps. Now I might just continue then also my expansion for Shotics. We have lots of timber here. And yeah, look at that. The moment we enter the old world, Miss Hunt is is trying... Oh, it's actually Bente. It's not Miss Hunt. They have a very similar color. Why is it under attack, though? Are we too close to any? Well, it should be fine, then. I thought they were chasing us. But they're not. But I got a message that my ship is under attack. However, there should be nothing here close by. Let's try this quest with the schooner. Let's pick up the required items that he wants me to, to get and... <laughs> I think that's the quest. Was it the quest? I think it is, right? Because we have no follow-up. On our way. Right, let's take the canned food back to, to Crown Falls. It's a nice starting gift. Thank you very much. For Crown Falls, the next expansion continues with more artisans. So since we have the school, we can upgrade those guys here to artisans as well. And that's a pretty huge bump there once again. And that we have also enough schnapps now in, so finally for Shotix, let's open up some alcohol. This will make people happy, and it should also boost my my balance there a bit. Oh, an explosion in the weapon factory. Definitely not because of a lack of uh, fire stations, as we have two close by. Yeah, there we have a fire now. This is going to disrupt my production just a tiny bit. We're down to 20 steel beams, so we can check. We are producing 8 right now per minute. Once everything is working at full capacity again, because the fire, of course, is disrupting some steelworks there. 8 per minute is okay. It's still not really optimal for all the industry that we're going to need soon. And we can also, once again, just quickly check out what we still might need here. A swing machines, that's good. That's also looking good. So the canned food would be my Left next production. Behind. Now for the canned food, um, we could prepare a new island. However, that leads to the problem that the advanced productions, that is the artisanal kitchen and the cannery, both need artisans. So I do need to have it in Crown Falls for now, as a commute pier is just a tiny bit too expensive. So what we can do, though, however, is we do have the starting 100 workforce there. There would already be, yeah, 10 red pepper farms. And of course, we're going to change the name to Titan. Also, hello, one of my supporters. Oh, there is an attack coming in. Where's my ships? There is an attack coming in, I don't believe that. Just a tiny attack, really. But of course, they're focusing one of my royal warships with that. I think, yep, she wants to take out my shipyards. What is going on here? Miss Hunt. A bit of a surprise there right now. I think, yep, we do have though, uh, quite a few ships by now. I'm not making that mistake again that I've done at some point. Not focusing on ships. Alright, Siege of Crown Falls. Um, it's just two ships though, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. It will though cost us. And what is she focusing at though? My sand mines? My window production with that? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm, I do have of course one ship close by, but it's just one and it will definitely get down if I send it in alone. Uh, so I can't do that. Yeah, we really just have to wait for my fleet. Let's break formation so they're a bit faster. And then we take down those ships of Miss Hunt. But she is destroying my industry in the meantime. My sand mines are down and now oh, this is expensive. This is 20,000 here that we lose. Because I was not careful enough. We do need to, of course, protect our ship production. Our shipyards. And she's using this right away. However, we cannot stand idle. Uh, let's go ahead and have my next building materials for the cattle farms and the red pepper. I will, after all, still need some 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 population there as well, right? In Titan, because I just cannot go on with just 100 farmers. And we're going to have the red pepper here and the, the cattle farms for our goulash that we can have then. 
left ruins behind. Yeah, both my shipyards down now. Both my sand mines. That's also 4,000. Very unfortunate business here. I was looking in the new world. Is she planning anything there? Nah, new world is still looking good. Fleet okay. Reinforcements have, have arrived. And now let's just let's just close the deal. He's trying to flee now. We're going Take to try and walking. intercept. A revolt left your city in ruins. I will not let these go off here. Fleet on the move. Even though they're very fast, as we can see. And there comes the clash. And the first one is down. And now we're just going for the second one. Perhaps there's also anything that we could use here. Down, there is something here. Ship of the line reporting in. At least she suffered for it. And 4,000 we get as a compensation. <laughs> the item that we can use then right away. We still need to wait now 2 minutes and 40 seconds before the siege is over. And then we can rebuild those shipyards again. We are at 80,000. So at least we can afford it. Could have been could have been a bit better though for us. If I ha would have been more careful. Let's upgrade the harbor here right away. So we can unload more resources in Titan. And then we are starting with one fishery. So this is really just going to be a tiny, a tiny, tiny farmer village, right? So we can have the marketplace right here. I don't care about that. And then just some houses in smaller blocks around it. I think that's good for now um, that we also leave some of that timber to us. I'm also not going to have a timber production here as this is absolutely not required. And then we just have, um, actually we have a river. What is under attack now? Ah, look at that. But that's the pirate in Loxer. He will not take it over. I can also see that rum is full. So I do need to do something else. If I have the ships available. I do have Fear and I do have Nelly. Nelly is waiting in Crown Falls right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make these separate them. So once the ship comes in, we're going to have a dedicated route just for the cotton and one just for the rum. So this one, Martinez, is going to be now the cotton then. Because the volume is just, of course, going to increase here over time. And it's just much better to have dedicated trade routes once you can afford this. And now we can, because now we do have the additional ships, the ship capacity then available. So this is all now for cotton. I think we can actually go with one more. There you go. And the other one is going to be rum once the trader arrives because of course he still has cotton on board as well. Now my fleet, victorious. Uh, let's have let's have one of my ships. Uh, Dusky Hawk. Let's have two of my ships in this uh, in this area permanently because I will not want that again. Very nasty business overall. And yeah, in Titan, I want to go ahead with my next production then. That is the red pepper that we need for our canned food. And we're going to need quite a bit, right? So I'm just going to plaster this whole area now full with uh, red pepper, basically. And we can go really crazy with this, as red pepper is going to be needed always, for a while. I endure. And there we go, now the cattle farms all in their glory and also of course the pepper farms in all their glory. And with that, I'm already done then with Titan action. Yeah, the only thing we might still provide besides the fish is then of course something to drink as well. 
so those people have it nice and cozy here with the pup. That should really now very good give us a content population. With that we can also then boost Hi. these farms of course. In Crown Force we can prepare another boost of my farmers there at least, right? So we are down to 400 farmers now. So of course we would need to have another push of farmer buildings then at some point. But right now it's looking then rather good with all these workers here. 1,500, 2,000 artisans. We do need around one canned food for now, right? So this production we can start. And then we would have everything ready really to find the advance to tier 4 and with that of course the game opens really up and we can then conclude the prologue to our mega city. I hope you enjoyed this one, stay tuned.